And so how do our NJN political insiders size up the governor's proposed spending plan? With us now are Democrat Julie Reginsky and Republican Roger Bodman. Welcome to you both, and thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. Julie, why don't we start with you? Election year, the governor down in the latest FDU public mind poll by nine points to Chris Christie. How did he do today? I thought he did very well. He presented an incredibly tough budget. He's inherited a very difficult situation. This is the culmination of many years of uh, mismanagement uh, by both sides, frankly, by Democrats and Republicans who preceded him. But it's also the culmination of eight years of complete mismanage mismanagement by the Bush administration. He's dealing with a national recession. He's dealing with an unprecedented national recession. And I think more than any other governor in the nation, he foresaw it. He laid down the first stimulus back in October of any governor in the nation to try to get us out of it. And in fact, his stimulus plan was so successful that President Obama incorporated elements of it into his own stimulus plan. So this governor has laid down the groundwork today, but not even today, as recently as, as long ago as October, to get New Jersey out of this fiscal crisis that the rest of the country is facing alongside it. And Roger, how did you see things? Well, Jim, excuse me, uh, uh, budgets really are all about uh, our, our priorities. Uh, they're all about priorities. And uh, in this particular instance, it seems to me that, that the governor has made the decision really to balance his budget on the back of the property tax payers. You know, when he ran uh, as, as a former corporate CEO from Wall Street for governor in 2005, he promised to raise the rebates by 10 percent a year for four years. And in 2007, when the Democrats uh, ran for re-election uh, uh, to the legislature, they too uh, promised to cut property taxes by a full 20 percent. In this particular budget, they cut the rebates to the bare bones, to, the, to people under really $50,000 or less that, that get, a, get a legitimate uh, rebate. And as, as Senator Brony just said in, in, in the package we just saw, they cut, unbelievably, they cut the, uh, or, or eliminate the ability to deduct your property taxes from your state income tax. That's going to hurt just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of New Jerseyans. On that note, let me ask Julie Reginsky. We heard in Zach's package there of reaction, Minority Leader DeCroach, Assembly Minority Leader DeCroach, the Republicans call this a rural, suburban uh, balanced on their backs versus the urban New Jersey who gets a break. Uh, Julie, how do you see that? Well, you know, Assemblyman DeCroach and, and Senator Kane both belong to the party of no. They have constantly said no to everything. They have not said yes to anything concrete because they're not the party of ideas. I would say to them, come out with a budget and see how you make up the $7 billion shortfall. But rea the reality is, when they keep saying no to everything, that means that they're saying no to additional money for hospitals. They're saying no to additional money for schools. They're saying no to additional money for seniors with a senior tax, re uh, senior property tax rebate. They're saying no to everything. They have no ideas. They're the party of no. It's just like they're just like their friends in Washington. We're gonna they're have throwing to, they're throwing bombs, but they have no solutions and no ideas. To, we're going to have to cut you off there, Julie and Roger. We're going to have to promise you a last word another time. <laughs> Not tonight. We've got to move on. No, no, no more time here. Thank you so much, both, for coming Thank you. in.